This is a survivability upgrade to our current system. By the upgrades that, we, that are on the vehicles that are behind me here, we think we can, we can extend the service life of this vehicle and make it, make it perform better. And we think that this system is gonna, gonna make this vehicle operationally relevant in the current and the future operating environment for, for years to come. What we've done is we have gone back and really honed in on the force protection survivability of this vehicle. Similar capabilities in the sense that it does the exact same thing, minus this one's got a beefed up survivability aspect to it. So underbody protection, spall liner, blast mitigating seats like I'm sitting in right now, and also buoyant ceramic armor on the outside. The buoyant ceramic armor is equal and the same thing as eco armor that we have on the current vehicle, but what it does is it brings back an adds on a new capability, meaning that it brings back the reserve buoyancy. So going from 18% on the old vehicle to now 22%. I feel incredibly safer in this vehicle than I do in the old platform. This vehicle is definitely a step in the right direction, and I believe that it's definitely something that the fleet will definitely appreciate, um, and definitely the Marines, especially the 0311s, they'll definitely appreciate this platform because it is intended to keep them safe and alive. I'm Major Paul Rivera in the AAV Survivability Upgrade Project Team Lead. What we have behind here is the SU itself. Uh, what I'll focus in on here is we have the force protection upgrade, which is the foundation of this actual platform. So what we've done is we've actually replaced the EEC armor and brought out buoyant ceramic armor that serves two purposes. One, to bring back that reserve buoyancy to include the same armor protection that the current uh, AAV uh, Ram RS has right now. Underneath the, you have the underneath the body of the vehicle. We've got about a two, two and a quarter inch uh, ballistic armor panel that's been put up underneath it. Uh, to include also, we've gotten rid of the linear shocks and replaced it with rotary dampeners. To the rear of the vehicle, we've uh, replaced out the old legacy uh, water jets. Uh, the cover's actually closed right now, but uh, you've got in here a new water jet. Uh, it's projected to push out. Uh, more than what we currently are pushing in the water right now and that's anywhere from five to six knots with the legacy platform to be greater anywhere from seven seven knots in the water uh, transitioning inside the vehicle right now once again like i said is the survivability upgrade program is focused on force protection uh, we do that by a couple of different ways one we've got the belly armor that's on the exterior of the vehicle interior we've got uh, aluminum armor that's been put on the inside which is uh, retained on the inside of the walls to the side side, the side parts of the walls as well to include a 360 deg 360 degree spall liner. To finally focus on that upgrade for force protection, we've got uh, blast mitigating seats. These blast mitigating seats, uh, what they focus on is getting the Marines feet off the actual uh, blast. So by doing so, we've got footrest designed to keep the Marines feet off and sailors. Uh, to include a five-point harness, and this seat actually, in an actual event, strokes anywhere from uh, from zero to actually up to four inches of stroke. What that does is it doesn't allow the Marine to necessarily survive. It actually increases that ability to survive and be able to walk away with those lower extremity uh, injuries, so they're not uh, taking those. To include also a headrest. The seats, the unique thing about these seats is they actually serve as a secondary function. Uh, instead of just worrying about stepping up on bench seats, you also have the backs of the seats that you can actually step on and uh, maneuver on the top of the vehicle. Walking on the inside of the vehicle, you also have a new deck floor. This deck floor is actually about, uh, from the bottom of the hole up, is about eight inches. That also gets you and the occupancy away from the actual event of the blast. Uh, and then behind this engine panel right here, we've got actually a new engine and a new transmission and open that up. So what we got back here is you've got a new 675 Cummins engine, you've got a uh, new transmission made by KDS and a new PTO. That's the heart of the vehicle and that's what's really bringing a lot of success to this platform for the due to the fact that we have about 10,000 pounds more weight uh, added to the uh, to the vehicle. So and then the last shot that you probably want to take a look at is if you can look up towards the front, 
you're actually seeing the new driver's display. That new driver's display is basically getting us into uh, current times uh, instead of having to deal with the old system that we had that was just obsolescent and uh, obsolete.